Okay, team, this is another fluency question and it involves working with a partner and doing partner reading. And I want you to remember that, you know, working with a partner and partner reading, there's a lot of different ways you could do this. You know, I read, you read, echo reading, choral reading, you know, uh, taking turns read, reading. A lot of different ways you can do partner reading, but, but each of these ways promotes fluency or a certain aspect of fluency. So these things help with building up a student's accuracy. Maybe it, it helps build automaticity with words. You know, as uh, you read and I read, you know, that the other student is listening and, and building up that, that automaticity with recognizing words or, or builds up their reading rate or prosody, their ability to pronounce words with a proper inflection and intonation, proper expression. So partner reading, um, it can help with these different aspects, okay? So whenever you see partner reading, you should be thinking uh, this is a way possibly of building, one way of building fluency. Okay, with that in mind, team, I want you to take two minutes and I want you to read the case study, okay? Two minutes, pause me now and uh, read, go ahead. Unpause. Let's talk about it. Uh, I'm going to start reading and, and just uh, and just work through it. Okay. It says a second grade, second grade teacher. So remember second grade when we were thinking about uh, our scenarios here. Uh, let me go back to this one right here. Right. Second grade falls right into this zone, but fluency is is definitely in that zone. Right. Not always fluency. And fluency you could be doing in first grade too, but it, it's 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 one of the big ideas that it could be right. So you see second grade teacher, you should be uh, uh, aware that it could definitely be a fluency question, right? It's within that zone of potential scenarios and activities and 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 things that you're working on in second grade. Okay, so let's continue. It says a second grade teacher pairs students. Oh, pairing students in second grade, pairing partner reading pairing. Uh, with appropriate accessible text for a paired reading uh, activity. Okay, so right away, we have that second grade, students working together, paired reading. In your mind, you should be thinking fluency or potentially fluency. Okay, during the reading activity, two students sit side by side uh, and take turns reading an entire, an entire short text aloud. Okay, so they're doing one of these activities here for partner reading. This is just describing partner reading. Over a period of several days, the pair of students read and reread a large number of accessible texts together. Uh, this activity promotes students' development of... So I just want to circle these words here. Pairs students. Paired reading. Um, pairs the students, right? This, this is a, a clearly a, a paired reading, partner reading activity. Do you spot that? These are all things that are talking about partner reading and the scenario too and rereading. This is all partner reading. So partner reading helps with what? Does it help with phonics? No. The teacher is going to introduce new phonics rules to the students, right? Not, not, not through a partner. Uh, is it help with comprehension? skills and strategies so so this would be like if we're practicing like visual like metacognitive strategies right visualization or text to self connections and that's really not the point of these paired activities is it uh prosodic reading skills what's prosodic well that's reading with prosody let me go to that slide real quick just to clarify the vocab we say reading with prosody uh, or, um, it's reading with the proper uh, tempo and volume and stressing the right words and, and pausing. So reading with the right proper inflection and intonation uh, as you read, that's really, um, it, I think this activity could help. It could definitely help with that. But that's, um, it could help with that. So yes, that's a possibility. Um, or is it uh, A, uh, building up reading rate and automaticity. I think of, I think with, within the aspects of fluency, we said before, it's made up of speed, accuracy, expression, and I should also put down automaticity, right? Okay, speed, accuracy, accuracy, 
automaticity, expression, um, or speed or rate, right? Um, this one here, that's the speed. Uh, let me get a different color. Okay, speed, automaticity, and automaticity, and I'm also gonna circle accuracy too, because you're, the partner reading is actually with reading rate and automatic. When you have automaticity, you have accuracy, right? It's rapidly recognizing a word without going through the decoding process. So if you if you get automaticity wrong, then you lack accuracy, right? So once you get automaticity, you have accuracy. So those are technically together. So really what A is saying is that the student, these activities are helping the student with speed, check, uh, accuracy and automaticity. Now, um, prosodic reading skills are when the student reads with, with emphasis and dramatic effect. That's not necessarily always what happens here. But that would be like the final one. That would be the hardest one to, to build, okay? So if partner reading can just work on these aspects, accuracy, automaticity, reading rate, I think that's, that's, that's the goal, right? This one right here is a lot harder, takes a lot more time to practice, okay? The, student, the students might not be there yet with choral reading. So that wouldn't be the main goal of partner reading. Does that make sense, team? Isn't this a fun question? I mean, you get to cross out ones that are wrong and spot the ones that are right. I could see how teachers could, you know, in doing this, maybe they cross out this, they cross out this, but then they get stuck on A and B, right? Maybe that's you. So try and realize what I said in this scenario here, that partner reading, it's helping with accuracy. And, and by becoming more accurate, the student's building automaticity and it's, and it's building up their speed in which they read understand that and then just understand that prosody that just would be in prosodic reading skills that just would take a lot a lot more time and that wouldn't be the main goal of partner reading okay all right uh now now um if you were doing like readers theater maybe readers theater could help out with that b but if you're just doing a, a basic text right you know that's accessible for that second grader then I think the answer, the best answer is A. The answer is A here. It's a nice question. And uh, again, look at all the answers A from this test here. You get exposure to all these different ideas, okay, um, going on. This one here says accessible text means that it's a text that the student is reading at an independent reading level. So they're getting 95% accuracy. So I should have uh, circled that in this. If you ever saw that accessible text, right? That is that is a code code word for ninety five percent accuracy, right? Meaning they're not having any difficulty with it, and this is a text that is building fluency, and that just reinforces that they're building fluency, okay? And how and and an activity that would build these aspects of fluency because it's an accept and ultimately this one too, but this is just saying that this is a text that's meant to build that. Okay. Okay, team, uh, let's keep going with the next question. 